What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our channel. I'm bringing you another hair video. Um, I'm gonna go through my normal wash and go routine, but this time I'm gonna add something a little extra in. I found uh, this hair paint wax, and this is the orange color. I wanna try that. So um, I've also ordered uh, the gold color, and I've used this as well. I thought it was cute, um, but because my hair is black, I just wanted something a little bit more subtle um, that still showed the color, but wasn't as like loud as the gold color, okay? So, and then while I'm doing my hair, I'm also going to uh, do a little story time with you and tell you about the time that I thought I was going to get arrested in Europe. So, uh, yeah. To start off, you guys know, um, first of all, I just uh, got finished working out. I feel like every time I do these videos, like I always just got finished working out. My hair is looking a mess and I even have like sweat stains on my shirt. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, that just means I was working hard because I'm sweating a lot. Anyway, so my hair looks a hot mess. Um, before I start the process, we'll do like a little pre-oil treatment. Um, and I will put olive oil on my hair. For the meantime, you're gonna see how crazy my hair looks. Boom, boom. Um, but stay tuned because I really wanna show you guys my um, deep conditioning video. Um, I wanna show you guys how I do my deep, condition, deep conditions, which is something that's super, super important when you have natural hair. And when you're trying to get your curls popping, um, making sure that your hair is moisturized is major, major, major. So I'm gonna take you guys through my deep conditioning routine right now. All right, so, oh no. Okay, so now that my um, olive oil is in my hair, I'm gonna jump in the shower and I will see you guys right back here. All right guys, so I'm back. Obviously, I just washed my hair. I feel like that took a little bit longer than usual, but I'm going to show you the products that I use. For my co-wash, I use As I Am, which I shamelessly used to say, As I Am. <laughs> so my cousin was like, um, it's actually called As I Am. And I was like, oh, bet. <laughs> um, for a conditioner, I use Cantu Shea Butter, which I really love because it makes my hair feel um, super moisturized. Um, and then I do a leave-in conditioner, which is the Make It Last Wash and Go Conditioner. And then on top of that, I do my Eco Salar Gel, which I am just like obsessed with. And people have told me to let go of this, but I'm not because I love it. To moisturize my skin, I use Beauty 360 a Vitamin E Moisturizing Oil, you guys. You can only find this at CVS, and um, I'm obsessed with it. I literally use, that's the only moisturizer I use day and night for my face. Um, really, it works really well, but right now I have a little blemish, so whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys about the time that I went to Europe with my homegirls and that I was gonna go to jail. So um, a couple of years ago, we went to Ibiza for my best friend's 30th birthday. And it was six girls, such an amazing time. And I think initially we were like, yo, I think we're just gonna do cabs. Um, but the cabs got super expensive and being the really uh, adventurous girls that we all are in the group, I miss those girls and we all need a trip again really soon. Um, we were trying to go everywhere on the island, okay? Everywhere. Um, side note, I'm using the hair paint wax. I'm using the color orange. Um, and so I, I don't know how this is, get, like I used this um, the gold one before and I did it at the end. I'm gonna try this again, but I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna use a little bit more. So just let me know that's what I'm doing. Anyways. So it got to be super expensive, so we were like, you know what, F it. We are going to um, rent a car. Um, I wanted to be the one to drive. <laughs> I don't know if I even told any of the girls this. 
I really wanted to be the one to drive because there was a lot of roundabouts in, in um, Ibiza. And like, I, I just didn't trust anybody with the roundabouts because if you don't pay attention, the roundabouts, like, you will get smacked all the way up, okay? I was like, you know what? We are gonna go get a car that can fit all six of the girls. So me and two other girls <laughs> decide to go to the airport because we are the responsible kids and we don't get this car. Um, but because I was in Ibiza and I'm feeling super ratchet and just like living on a whole YOLO tip, like I'm like YOLO all the way, but it's just not responsible because we have six girls in the car and the Audi literally only has seats for like four people, right? So we were like, nah, we ain't about to get this Audi. But then the more we thought about it, we were like, honestly, like when's the next time we're gonna be in Ibiza? <laughs> like living this life, having the time of our life, we don't really know. So like, why not get an Audi? And two of the girls, uh, my best friend and one of the other girls who I love, Veronica, they're very, very, very petite, petite women, okay? So we were like, honestly, both of their bodies together equal one body. Um, so really, we on we're only trying to squeeze in like five girls and not really six. And so that's how we pretty much justify getting this super, super small car um, because you only live once. Like, how are we gonna tell them that we got this small ass car? Hey guys, come downstairs, like we're ready to go. And we're like, hey, can you guys guess what car we got? And lo and behold, um, they did not guess that we got a freaking four seater convertible Audi. Call it stupid, call it irresponsible. I call it just, living life to the fullest. <laughs> so for a whole day, you guys, we're riding around in this Audi, top down, no care in the world, like super irresponsible. Girls are sitting on top of each other in the car. We're in a different country and we just have not a care in the world. Music blasting, hair blowing. Um, the whole day we're like riding to the beach, you know, we kicking it. We're like having a really great time. Well, the next day we were flying out to Barcelona. Next morning, um, we gotta be at the airport like hella early. Everybody's tired and pretty hungover. Um, and so we all have to pile in this car super early in the morning. So we do that, not even thinking. The top is down and we see like the, oh God, the Ibiza police department, I think. Like they don't look like normal police, like what we would call normal police. It looked like a different kind of car. And anyway, um, like we saw them see us right as we pull out. Girls are like, we didn't even get the girls in the car to like a point where like they were even like tucked in. We were so tired not paying attention that <laughs> Everybody was just like sticking out the car. And so we get pulled over and I'm like, great. We're six black women in Spain. So the guys were very, they were a-holes, like total a-holes. And we're like, where are you guys going? Where are you from? And then once again, I'm like, oh my God, he's gonna see that we're from America and be like, oh, y'all definitely about to go to jail. So. He basically was like, you guys can get fined for this. Why are you guys, why are you guys in this kind of car? This only fits four people and I'm driving. So I'm just like, we're in this car because we just are. Like, I don't have a good excuse for this. Like we want the car, we know it's only fits four people. We got it for six. It is what it is. We're trying to get to Barcelona. So we were like, hey, we're really on our way to the airport. We know this is illegal. Like, but we actually are, are on our way, like out of Ibiza. <clears throat> and he was like, you either have two options. You can either pay, I can't even remember what the ticket was, cost was, but I felt like it was expensive. You can either pay this fine or four of the girls have to get out the car and walk down to the taxi thing, which was probably like a half mile away. And I was like, really? Like I can't just, I, they can't just stay in the car and I just drive them down. Like he was like, and they better not, you better not pick them up either. They better stay out the car and we're gonna be watching you. And I'm like, I bet. At that moment, I was kind of glad that I was like, you know, driving because I didn't have to walk, <laughs> but whatever. 
Love you guys. Um, so I basically, we, me and like another girl drove down, the other four girls walked. They had to take a cab to, to the airport. We turned the car in and we're like, okay, thank God, like we escaped. We escaped that. Yo, so we get in to Barcelona and why you guys on the way out, like the Uber driver got pulled over randomly in the Uber and we're like, what the heck? Like, what is going on? We have a target on our backs on this car that says, hey, there's three black, there's six black women traveling from America, pull them over again. So once again, my heart is dropped because I'm like, okay, we're gonna definitely go to jail this time because we just escaped going to jail. And so the guy pulls us over and it was, I can't even remember like what he said, but he was like, let me see your credentials. And he asked us for our passports. He was like, just like questioning the driver. And it was, it was super weird. I don't know if they do random checks there. Maybe they do. To get stopped two times in one day is hella scary, especially when you're in a different country. There's so much more to the story and I might have to add on to this story another time, but I definitely thought I was gonna get left in Barcelona and the story is getting long, so I'm gonna tell you that another time. I'm going to finish my hair and I'm gonna hit you up when I get back. back I finished putting all the product in my hair um, this is what it looks like I don't know if it looks good in the back or not <laughs> so if it looks bad no judgments um, one thing that I will say is that I really like my hair to be um, really defined and I feel like um, I put a lot of um, quite a bit of eco gel uh, styler in my hair because I have a lot of hair and I feel like when I put the hair wax on top of it that it makes my hair less defined so I don't really like that about it we'll see how it dries and maybe I have to switch up the order that I put the product in um, but the one thing that I do like about the hair wax is it's completely temporary if I don't want it in anymore all I have to do is wash it out and there's no damage to the hair all right guys when my hair dries I will come back and show you what it looks like all right guys, it's the next day and my hair is finally dry. It takes forever for it to dry. Um, so typically the next, uh, I would say my day one hair is typically pretty crunchy. So I have to typically like kind of scrunch out the stiffness in my hair so that it softens up. So that's, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I don't even know. I, I feel like I have to put a lot in my hair for it to be noticeable. Either that or I need to um, add the hair wax in in a different order. Maybe when it's dry or I'm not sure. I'm still trying to figure it out. Anyways, here's my hair. Um, I can see some color right here. Um, in terms of the texture of my hair, I do feel like it feels it's not sticky, it's just not how my hair typically feels. Typically when I start to scrunch out my hair, it's like super, super soft. Um, and it doesn't really feel like that right now. So I'm not sure, I like the color. I'm glad that it's temporary. I am gonna be trying it again. I'm gonna do it in a different order next time and see how it works. But for now, um, this is what my hair looks like with the hair wax. So, you know, I will put the description of the item down below in the box. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, words of encouragement, any ideas for the next video, please drop them down below. And I will talk to you guys later. Hello.